We are just a few weeks until the end of the year, honestly, like almost in days count away until the end of the year. And I've had so many people ask, how much money do you make selling rabbits? So I have been calculating what we did this year, how many litters we had, how many kits that produced, and how many rabbits we actually sold. And I'm gonna tell you the exact number, but first, let's talk a little bit about how you can actually start to make money with rabbits. So here at our homestead, we have Californian and New Zealand rabbits, and these are a great source of meat. And we knew that when we got these, we wanted to primarily keep them for ourselves to be able to create our own meat source. So we were more self-sufficient but we also wanted to be able to supplement some of the cost of our feed by selling some of the rabbits as well. And honestly, once you get over the cost of like the housing for them and their cages or whatever kind of setup you're gonna do, the feed cost is really not that high. They're not like huge eaters. It's mostly just some Timothy hay, alfalfa, and a good pellet for them. And our rabbits don't eat a significant amount of food that they're really like robbing us out of a lot of money. But we have really dwindled down our herd. So this past year, we only had one female and one male that we worked with. And the reason we did this is just because there was just too much going on in our life. But that being said, our main source of income from these rabbits was actually selling them to other individuals, primarily for pets or other homesteaders looking to start their own rabbitry. And what we would do was actually post on Facebook Marketplace or any groups that we were a part of that were locally for homesteading, as well as we did it on Craigslist. So Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace were like our two biggest marketing sources. I think if you're really looking to blow up sales, I would probably make your own websites, start going to some 4-H sales and really get your name out there about your rabbitry and people would be more likely to actually want to purchase from you and there'd be a lot of word of mouth about you. I know where we live, there's not many meat rabbitries around there, like meat rabbit rabbitries. So it was definitely something that we were one of the only people doing it. And I think if you are really gonna go in on this and wanna dedicate a lot of time, effort, and get a good income from it, I would suggest creating your own website as well. Selling rabbits as an animal with nothing really done to them besides just purchasing the rabbit is not the only way you can make money though. There are a few different sources that you can make money from rabbits. The first one is you can actually take their pelts and sell that fur or fibers from their fur in order to make money. You can get around a dollar to thirty dollars per pelt. Um, we did not do this at all just because we have not gotten into the tanning game yet, but it's definitely a great way to make money. And if you're a crafter, it might be something that you can get into and actually make products out of. Another way that you can make money from rabbits would be to actually sell the meat of rabbits. So we have had a lot of people ask about, can we have rabbit meat? <laughs> um, unfortunately, we do not do that at our homestead because there are a lot of laws and regulations where we live that does prohibit that you have a USDA approved kitchen. And right now we just do not have the capability to really build that out and work on that. We don't want to be churning out rabbit meat. It's not really our goal, but if that's something you would want to do, then I definitely suggest looking up what type of regulations are in your area and it could be an awesome thing to get into. Another form to make income from your rabbits is actually from their waste. And that would be selling their droppings as fertilizer. As we're about to jump into spring in just a couple of months, this could be a time where you're actually saving those, bagging them up. And I've seen that you can sell them from all the way up to $45 for a 45 pound of rabbit droppings. And 
gardeners love this we actually add it to our garden and we use it a lot here so i definitely suggest if you're looking for some additional side income that you go ahead and do something just like that. I know that you did not come here to learn about the different types of ways to make money on rabbits. You want to know the bottom line. How can you actually make money on your rabbits and how much are people actually making money on their rabbits? Is it worth it? So let's break it down. Now, as I mentioned earlier this year, we only had one male, one female, which means that we were only breeding one rabbit. Now, we don't want to actually completely exhaust our female, so I really don't suggest doing more than five litters, and that's still a pretty decent amount per year, especially in the heat, heat, heat of summer when they really do not want to be mothering, giving birth, and growing children. So we did not have that many litters. We actually had four litters, all year and we really make sure to give her a significant amount of time in between them and she's a really great mom we have had some not so great moms in the past that had a lot of kids born on the wire which basically means that they were not born in their nesting area and therefore didn't make it but this mom is amazing all of her litters are anywhere from six to eight kits which is a really good number eight is usually around your average um most rabbits aren't gonna have like huge 14 <laughs> rabbit litters or at least i have not heard of that um so i definitely comment down below if you've been having really large litters because i'd be interested to learn how big some of them are but we only had four litters and i was really happy with this number i think our mom is amazing and we did pretty good as i mentioned earlier our main goal is not to sell every single rabbit in the litter. So you're gonna see in this breakdown that we did not sell, sell every single one. So out of every single litter, we got around six to eight rabbits. And what I would do here is once the mom would actually have her litter, at week two or four, I would actually start to post on Facebook Marketplace, in Facebook groups, as well as Craigslist. I found that if you posted too early, a lot of people would not want it by the time the rabbit was actually available and we would wait till all of our rabbits were eight weeks old before we actually would rehome them so i definitely suggest waiting a little bit longer and what i did is i took pictures of our original kits and then i just took a lot a lot of pictures of them so what i could do is every new litter i would post pictures from either the previous litter or that first really big photo shoot that i had and i would use those because all the kits looked pretty much the same i found that most people who purchased the rabbits only primarily cared about what gender they were and not so much what they looked like specifically and they all looked pretty similar actually <laughs> um but i'm gonna break down how much we made per litter so for all of our rabbits we sold them for 40 dollars each i would say for meat rabbits you could sell them anywhere from 40 to 50 dollars depending on where you are we're in the northeast of the u.s and people were buying them for $40. It was a little bit harder to purchase them, to sell them for a little bit more. And I found that if people wanted to buy them in bundles, so like three or four rabbits, they were asking for discounts. So sometimes they would even mark it higher on our sales page so that I could knock it down when we were like messaging. So sometimes I would mark it up as like $45 a rabbit, but if you get two or more, they're $40 each. And that really helped sell more and also make everyone feel like they were getting a deal. But let's actually break it down. So the first litter, we actually sold three rabbits and each were sold at $40, which gave us a grand total of $120. The second litter, we also sold three rabbits for another $120. And then the third litter, we actually upped it a bit, sold four rabbits. This litter, for some reason, I feel like a lot of people wanted rabbits at this time. Um, we had a lot of people bring their kids and they wanted them as pets. And we also had a lot of people always wanting like a tree of rabbits so if you are able to have different families of rabbits I think that's really big especially for homesteaders people looking to start their own rabbitry they want um, 
two females, one male, but from different family lines, they could actually breed them successfully for future food and kits. And then the last litter was our smallest litter sold. I think just with school starting, holidays, um, it just being generally colder, we only sold two kits. And I honestly wasn't as great at marketing at this time. So I think it did kind of lead to our on success here. With those four litters, we ended up making $480 total. And I was really happy with this number. We definitely were spending around this in the food costs, the hay costs, and just generally making sure that we had enough supplies for them. So this was a number that I'm really happy about. I wouldn't want any more than this really. I think it was able to pack our freezer full of rabbit and food for ourselves while still sharing as well as getting some type of profit for ourselves. It's getting a little bit cold out there and windy. So I decided to come in to share what would the total look like if we actually sold every single one of the rabbits that we ended up having this year. So we ended up having four litters and let's say every single litter had eight kits for it. That would give us a grand total of $1,280, which if you end up having multiple female rabbits in your rabbitry, you can really get a decent amount of money from selling rabbits. So I definitely suggest that if you're on the edge of whether you should do this or not, that it could be worth it if that number sounds good to you. I wish you the best of luck and we'll see you again next time.